waste you don't succeed, keep on sucking till you do succeed. Yeah. How y'all doing? Welcome to Backyard Dispatcher. I'm your host, Stoney. And today, I'm shooting the Hudson Jet 2. It's been hyped up a little bit to push out a little bit more FPS. Other than that, been a little bit of grinding on the uh, the pin. I guess it's a striker pin. You will. Uh, that's that's about. Oh yeah, I shaped the hand too a little bit, the grip, so my big hands will fit in it. You can. Y'all didn't know you can. You can. Uh, sand that, rasp it, and file it down a little bit to mold it to your hand. I don't know if they intended to do that, but you can. And you can't really even tell from the factory that I've done that. So, I've added a little, some aftermarket parts. Man, it's hot. Man. It's 100 degrees. <sighs> With like about, the humidity is just insane. Yesterday, there was... It was 100 degrees with hardly any humidity, like 15%. Oh, it was nice. felt like it was like 80 out. And I think it's like 80 right now, but with like insane humidity. So it feels like it's 102. But yeah, something I haven't been promoting enough is that y'all need to start wearing your safety glasses. And to let you know how old I am, when I was in the service, they didn't have safety glasses for us. We went on a range, they didn't have that kind of stuff. Pistol range, rifle range, any of that kind of stuff, no safety glasses. So that, that's probably part of the habit of why I don't wear them as often. I'm going to try to cut this short because the mosquitoes are eating me alive. I don't have any off on. I'm going to be doing the cutting in half. Coconut challenge. Or the coconut challenge. That uh, Prepper's got going on. Kind of from a little version from my cut the card in half challenge. You know, this way. The toxic promoted heavily for me. Thanks again, brother. Um, I want to try to do a lot of name dropping and stuff. Because there's so many people out there. I've noticed a lot of the bigger channels don't even do it at all. So, or if they do, it's just rarely. But, I'm going to go ahead and get back to doing I'm five away from getting my 1,000. And, man, that would be cool if that that could happen. Uh, anyway, let's get to shooting. Oh yeah, what I will be shooting. We'll be doing a little deviation from the norm. I normally, I'm a big supporter of the cheapest pellets I can get, and these are the, the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Uh, they're 14.3 grain, and these are perfect for almost everything I shoot. Uh, if it doesn't shoot these, I usually don't like the gun. So, so if your gun shoots these pretty good, it will shoot the even expensive stuff even better. The way I look at it. But what we're going to be shooting today are the Gamma Rockets. And believe it or not, y'all, I've got a sponsor. And this will be a surprise to you, but these are brought to you by John BB Gunner. And here's my little splash for him. This little thing going. Where I'm gonna do stuff. Oh yeah, and the coconut. Coconut. Instead of buying a beer, I bought a, a coconut and a pepper. So this is kind of sponsored by you too. So y'all, if you haven't checked out that Brit, he's a real cool air gunner, real funny, funny guy. Uh, you'll know if you got the right page. He's just covered in ink. Real cool, crazy guy. We'll talk to the fun guy. Uh, the kind of guy I'd like to have a beer with, probably, you know? Uh, later on, I'm going to be trying to cut one of these poke plants in half with, or I do some, since well, I'm out of weed eater string, I'll cut that in half, and then I'm going to also try to cut some, what do you call them? Kicks? Is that what y'all call them over there? I oh, know y'all call them trainers. Over here, I think they call them kicks or something like that. You know, where I'm going to throw the shoes up on the power lines. I'm going to try to cut. I got an old pair I can. I can try to cut down. And, uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing. We'll get back to the Hudson Jet. And 
make a mess of this coconut before the sun, before I lose this cool shade. Uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's so nice in here. It's hot outside. It's very hot outside. Let's just work on that coke coconut. Okay. I have not sighted this gun here. So we're going blind on the gamos. Okay. There's a direct hit right in the middle. It's doing some damage. stuck in it. Come on through. It's just stuck in it. That's all. This is chambered in deuce deuce, two two, twenty two. Man, it's smacking it, but I don't think it's doing anything to it, y'all. Find out. Let's break up the other mags. There's top shots right there. Coconut. I think there's a piece of it already off. Oh, look at that. I'm, all I'm seeing is nut. Just peeling it off like a like it's an apple, and this thing right here is a knife. Wow! Look at that. Pots and jet, man. It's just freaking insanely powerful. Tune it up right. Now I'm not gonna get the suggested forty something shots. There's no way, Jose. You know what I mean? About those, there's just no way. But what I want to do is make up for the power and accuracy. Look at that. That's exactly where I was aiming. Exactly where I was aiming. Not near, close, or anything. It was exactly. Just like a surgeon's scalpel, I'm just dissecting this here coconut. I'm making all the other guns look like, unless this toxic matrix Zeus or his little pump toy he's got, a megalodon or mastodon or whatever the fuck. Giant, huge lead. Smashing. Those things are just insanely powerful arrogance. I'd have to go out to the ranch to shoot it. I would too. I'd go out there on that big old horse ranch. Blast the hell out of that. Alright, 
right, there should be a hole right where I need it to knock it all loose. Oh, y'all, is that meat on this coconut? It's thick. I think these gamble rockets are starting to do their, their work. I would have liked, oh, look at that. big old chunk of the coconut out, y'all. I don't know who you are, but if you're not watching this, you probably like coconuts as well. You know, at this point, I'm starting to think that the hollow premiere, hollow points, would be doing a lot quicker work than these uh, Gamble Rockets. That's just my thought right now, if, as far as going as like hitting the meat on these, uh, that, that coconut meat. All right, here we go. That's where we got to do some precision shooting. Okay. I ain't seen a little Frenchy boy around. Call her gunner. Put out a video not too long ago. That hit the pole. Did y'all hear that? With some authoritarian. I'm going for a little bit of the coconut. I'm just not hitting the meat. I'm just going to hit the shell a little bit too now. So I think it pushes it through. Look at that. I think it's about to fall loose, y'all. I think that's about to count. I think I'll have to do it with a or two shots. Oh, I bet you're sweating your little, your little panties there. Oh, I went way left. Way too far. Oh, it's just all over the place now. I think I'm like low on air. Like I know I am. This is the last mag I got. I gotta make it. It's gotta do it, dog. And I don't even know where it's in the yards. I can't see through those. It makes it more dangerous.
so I got quiet. I'm gonna talk to some smack now. It should have counted. It should have fell. There's nothing holding that together. Just imagination. I didn't do it. So what is this? These are like six and a shots. Uh. With an unsighted in Y'all look like it was, some of those pellets were just kind of like sticking in, I couldn't tell. I, like, I mean, I have some decent glass on this. It's a sea life, 9 by 40 AL. And, uh, I mean, it, it's okay. There we go. 